Today I'm going to be showing you all the sockets all around my house and all the smoke alarms. Make sure that you keep track of what we're doing or else, or else you're going to be in big trouble. Sockets first. Crab tree. My room first of all. Crab tree. Crabtree light switch. Landing. Crabtree light switch. Boiler room. It's hard to see, but there's a Euro light fuse connection unit right there with a neon light on it. And as you can see, it's kind of flickering. Oh yeah. Running out of ideas this time. First room. Wait a minute. We'll, we'll ask permission first. We'll skip Faith's room, because the access has been declined by Faith. Parents' room. Crabtree light switch. I need that on anyway, because I can't see. Crabtree plug socket. Another Crabtree plug socket. Bathroom. Living room. Venturing downstairs. My dad's in there, so I'll skip that. Hallway. Crab tree double gang light switch. Kitchen. Crab tree double gang light switch. Crab tree double gang plug socket. A crab tree water heater switch with a neon light. Crab tree double gang plug socket. A crab tree um, uh, cooker control unit. Cooker control unit, yeah. Behind all those pieces of crab is a crab tree fuse connection unit. Crabtree dishwasher control switch. A Crabtree double gang plug socket. There is a um, Crabtree double gang plug socket. A Crabtree light switch. Now for the smoke alarms. Wait, I don't think that caught. Now for the smoke alarms. My room. A status KD134A smoke alarm. We'll go, go ahead and test it. Okay, just in case I didn't get it, I'll do it again. It's a status KD 134A. Yeah, it's it's a it's a landing. Close living room door. Safe links KD 134A. No, that's my model. Safe links um, EI 141. I'm getting muddled up with my smoke alarm in my bedroom. I'll go ahead and test it. Come on. Give me a second, guys. Okay, I've got my ear protection on now, so maybe let's do it. Oh, it's not going off. Um, um, it, it needs to be replaced soon anyway, it detects fine. We have a, I think we have a dud here, guys. I don't know if the battery's dead or is it, and the, and the chirping is coming from my smoke alarm, not this one. If it was coming from this one, it'd be much louder. Because this is a, um, it's not an 85 decibel, it's a 90 decibel. It's louder than the one I have. And it's an ionisation smoke alarm. Right, please stand by. I'm having technical difficulties. The light keeps flashing rapidly now. 
Wait, I'll show you. Yeah, we're having technical difficulties. I think we just need to change the battery. Just give me a sec. All right, I'm back. So now we'll try again. There we go. It finally works. If, it, if I had it my way, well, in the next video, I'll be only testing these ionization ones and see if the inner connect still works. Anyway, now we're into the, not the hallway, I'll do that one last, because it's more closer to the living room. But yeah, I had to change the battery in that one, that's why it didn't sound. There's that one anyway that I'll be testing last. It's another one of the ones that are in the landing. This is not a smoke alarm, by the way, this one. This is an EI Electronics EI161 heat, heat alarm. You see this little thingy sticking out? It's a little heat sensor and a smoke sensor. And also, like, where does it say it again? Oh, yeah, mains heat alarm. I've got to be careful because this is nil. This I'm, I'm nearly running out of time. It works. Okay, I need a I need a stick to test the hallway one because I'm too small to reach it. If I try it on the stairs, it's just not working. I don't know how I'm going to hold the tablet as well. It'll be easier if I was holding the phone. Oh. Let me just sort this out a minute. Put this thingy here. Okay, this is also an EI Electronics EI141. It's going to fall, I know it. Um, but just give me a second. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I was trying my best, I hope I've got a good grip of the tablet. Oh man, it's going to be really hard. It's going to be hard without dropping it. There we go, I can just hold it like that. <sighs> good grip of the stick. Right on the test button. Ah, oh, I keep missing it guys, I'm just shaking right now. I don't think you heard that. I'll try it again, it only did a tiny one. Okay, it works. In the next video, I'll test if the interconnectable still works. But that's all the sockets and smoke lamps all around our house. I can't, I can't show you one in the living room because it's not there anymore and it's, and it's not a smoke alarm either, it's a, it was a carbon monoxide sensor. Anyway, thanks for watching.